Hi guys. It is another hot, sticky, miserable day. Good God, as the dog days even hit the uh, Finger Lakes of New York. It is Friday the 13th. I just thought of that. It is our, our lucky day here on a planet to be alive on a planet. Friday, August 13th, 2021. And guys, I just want to see if anyone... Basil, do you have any answer to this? So what I'm noticing is that it is August the 13th and a lot of my trees have already lost their leaves. This is this uh, apple tree, which has about 10,000 apples on it. But about half of the apple trees on August 13th have lost their leaves. Their leaves are gone. And now this maple tree, this started, this is day three, okay? I want you to understand, I mowed this lawn yesterday afternoon. This started on about, uh, I'm saying August 11th. These, the maple tree here out over the Maggie May uh, just started, I mean, not just losing a few leaves. I mean, it, this maple tree <clears throat> is in full fledged leaf drop. I, the, the leaves are not, uh, the leaves are not turning yellow or red, but what they have is, look at the leaves. I don't know, is, I, I, I mean, there's been plenty of water this summer. If anything, there's been too much water. Maybe this has something to do with it, but uh, this is what the leaves on this maple tree look like. Uh, see a little dog out in the fall leaves. I mean, what in the hell is going on? How fucked are we? Look at this apple tree. I'm just gonna cut this fucking thing down, put it out of its misery. Now the one right next to it, okay, here's this one, and here's this one. So this apple tree, full of leaves, full of fruit. Uh, about half the apple trees are totally fine. Their leaves are fine, their fruit are fine, and the other half just uh, looking like November. Now this is, don't know what species of maple this is. I'm glad to see at least that, uh, that even my little maple here, not nearly as bad, but has this thing. But this, this maple tree has doubled in size. So anyway, guys, uh, while I am wondering uh, what the hell is happening on the planet to all the trees, uh, I just thought you would enjoy this humorous story. What this box here is, what this box is, is a tent. And here's the story behind this tent. Uh, so anyway, a couple of weeks ago, these fucking punks showed up to Bugs in a Jar Farm. These four little punks. Uh, I, I should have just turned them around as soon as they drove up. So they they come up here, I, I, I'm nice enough to offer a free tent to, to these little fuckers so, uh, because there were more people than there were tents. So I got $30 out of this deal, 30 fucking dollars out of this deal. And uh, they spend the night, they, they, they fucking keep, you know, they're loud, they're obnoxious. Uh, they bother my other paying guests here. They leave the place trashed out when they go. And on top of everything else, they uh, <clears throat> they stole the damn tent that I that I lent them. They stole the fucking tent. So you know the guy who made the reservation. Uh, this uh, I never thought. He was the one who stole the fucking tent. I thought it was one of his punk ass. It, I thought it was one of his punk ass uh, little friends who stole the tent. And I still think that. So anyway, I call the guy 
and uh, you know the guy who made the reservation, not the guy who probably stole the tent. And, and I said, dude, what the fuck? Uh, you know, come on. I said, I can't believe you stole the fucking tent. And he admitted he had the tent and uh, tried to uh, chalk it up to a miscommunication. Yes, a miscommunication. Uh, I found out that Dulcinea is a breeder, by the way. Uh, Dulcinea's baby. Uh, I don't know. I thought Dulcinea was a non-breeding doomer chick, but look at this. Anyway, don't want to get into a Dulcinea rant. So, the kid admits he has the, the tent. <coughs> so I talked to him, it's like two weeks ago, <coughs> and I uh, talked to him and tell him to send me the fucking tent back. Uh, and he agreed to it. He goes, okay, Sam, sorry about the miscommunication. I'll send you your fucking tent back. So, uh, so he had until today. He had 14 days, so Airbnb says try to give this kid the benefit of the doubt. Uh, he has 14 days to return that tent, this fucking $25 tent, and if he doesn't return the tent, we will reimburse your account. $25 whole dollars, well guess what, so of course today gets here. And so at 10 o'clock in the morning on the day this tent is due, I get on the fucking phone with Airbnb trying to get my $25 credit back from this. I am on fucking support for two hours with these fuckers trying to process a $25 request. And we're going around. I'm talking to this dude in Colombia, this, uh, the, the, this customer support guy from Colombia. Uh, and uh, going around, he was the nicest guy, could not figure out how to get my goddamn $25 reimbursed as we are having the conversation. As we are having the conversation about <coughs> uh, how to get my tent reimbursed, goddamn FedEx pulls up with the tent with the tent it was quite hilarious we all gotta laugh so my uh my faith in human nature has been somewhat a tiny bit uh restored not that i ever had much faith in human nature nope you're a bumblebee plenty of bumblebees this is the wildflower garden is finally starting to kick in and uh here in the middle of August, finally starting to get my wildflower garden. But anyway, it is a hot, sticky day. I have wasted two hours of my morning. Now the midday heat is hit, and it's Friday, so I guess I need to uh, go over to Collapse Chronicles and bring you our my ecological meltdown roundup rant from Manga Bay about how fucked we are but anyway get out there and enjoy your wildflower garden and your bog garden now why is the joe pie weed drip why is this drooping why the fuck is you, you can't tell me this thing uh is having a lack of water this beautiful plant so why is it fucking keeling over yeah, what the hell is going on here? But it is, look at this glorious bog garden. This thing just gets prettier every day. But I got to get in from the bog. Oh, we have a water lily blooming. All right. I don't know if you guys can see the, the water lily blooming. I don't believe it. Come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Mm. This little dog, are you hiding out in the shade? Bye, guys. <laughs>